You already know, man. Shout out to Rose. This is your boy DJ Bugsy, and man, we got some topics that we want to talk about today, man. And hip hop is really booming right now. Facts. Listen, you feel like it's because of the announcement? Oh yeah, definitely. That got a hard, huge part to do because now everybody got their think pieces from the the rappers, <laughs> right. the YouTubers, the bloggers. Like right. I just seen a drawing with Juvenile today, and I'm just like, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got people just coming out of the woodworks talking about everything. It's about to get crazy, but yeah, go ahead, man. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna stop your flow, bro. <laughs> I ain't gonna stop your flow. Yo, mm-hmm. y'all do not know why me and him laughing, but that's a whole nother conversation. <laughs> yeah. This hip hop shit that have you giggling for these. But that's no, true. on some real shit, I want to give a shout out to Wale. Wale is one of the most underrated artists, hip hop artists I ever seen in my life. He doesn't get the flowers he deserves, but I'm going to give him his flowers. This brother is going on tour. And I remember I posted about Meek Mill need his own festival. He need his own tour. And everybody was looking at me like, no, he don't. Y'all crazy. He has to have a hit record out, a song out. He has to be buzzing to do a tour. No, he don't. All Meek Meek Mill got to do is say a mixtape tour, Dream Chasers mixtape tour, and the tickets are gone. He could say an MMG reunion tour. The tickets are gone. It's over. So I was trying to let people know that Wale ain't scared to go on tour. Wale, like, I don't got no hit records out, but I'm going to do a tour. Yeah. So I want your thoughts on, do artists have to have hit records out or have motion for them to go on tour? No. You got Jeezy having a tour right now, and he ain't had a hit record in a while. There's a right. bunch of rappers out here that got catalog. The main thing now is all about your catalog. You know right. If you got right. catalog that has been going over the years, you can do a tour. Like like you just said, yeah. he can do a Dream Chasers tour. He has Dream Chaser artists that can surround that, do that. He can do a tour. That's it. Nothing. Yeah, it's a no-brainer. Yeah, so a lot of people are doing catalog tours. Like I said, Jeezy, he's doing a mixtape tour. Where right he's now. doing all of his, so yeah. yeah. I don't, but why do why do people feel like you need motion? I mean, look at Rolling Stones. They was hot in the seventies and they out here killing it. Fifty Cent did a tour, the final lap tour last yeah, 50 year. Fifty just he did didn't one. Had yeah. no motion. Of course, they're saying that Nicki Minaj might be one of the biggest hip hop tours of oh, all time. Yeah. Drake um, knocked out Kendrick with the most grossing tour before he was like number one. Kendrick was number one, but then Drake came and knocked him out. Yeah. But what I'm saying is like. Even those artists, like Nicki don't really got no motion. Her last project didn't do great. Yeah. So it's like you don't need motion to go on tour. Your fans want to see you perform. The problem is, is that Mm -hmm. rap, they always want to put you into the young guys. It's like, oh, the young guys got to have motion. You got to have this. Longevity in rap is not talked about as much. Look at LL Cool J. Right. Those type of legacy acts, you can be a legacy act, but... The thing is, they always try to make it where it's the young guys against the new guys. Oh, if you're not popping on Instagram, yeah. you ain't shit. Right. If you're not none of these type of things going on, then you, you're basically just dead in the water. You don't got a million followers. But if you have songs that have been chart that have been charting for years, or you huh. literally just have some type of catalog. Main thing I'm gonna keep saying a thousand times in this job is catalog. catalog. You can make it happen. Absolutely. So. And I'm actually going to that tour, that Wale tour. That'll be dope. Because I, because I, 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 like I said, I tell, I mean, people always look at me when I say, I feel like Wale has a better catalog than me. Because Wale, mm. I do, I do, I mm. honestly do. I'm going to tell you why. Because Wale makes a lot of hit records, bro. He, he, he just got a crazy poet, his, his aesthetics, just how he goes about approaching projects. You know what I mean? For me. Now, if we add... Meek Mill's mixtape, you know what I mean, resume to that, then we might have, but we just talking strictly just his albums, I just think Wale shit just different, bro. Just It's just different to me. I understand why a street cat might not feel that, but when we talking sonically and musically, Wale catalog is dope, super dope. I think he could reach a bigger audience because his 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 is more like college students even you know other races, other genres. They, I mean, um, ra- you know, races, genders. Yeah, they can. He he has a bigger reach. I just feel like Meek is the more of the mainstream artist that can do arenas. And this is mm. the thing: Wale has been touring a lot of his career, but I feel like that started with him. You mm-hmm. know, with the mixtapes too. Yeah, but with him, I think he has more of a niche audience. 
where Meek Mill is pretty much like a main, you know, he's a celebrity at this point. So, I mean, Wale is too, but he's more known for the music. Meek Mill can do arenas. So I don't think Meek could do arenas. You don't think he could do arenas with no. dreams and nightmares and all the hits no. that he got with all the you, other me, rappers? No, let me tell you, let me tell you why I don't think he can do it. Because Little Uzi Vert sold out the Wells Fargo Center in two hours. Meek Mill sold out the Wells Fargo Center, but he said it was Meek Mill and friends. Little Uzi Vert okay. did it, it's just him. So, so you're saying without the assistance he can't do it? Without other artists, he can't do it. Me personally. Because he, he, he hasn't proven that he can yet. Because every mm. time he do a show in Philly, it's always Powerhouse or Meek Mill and Friends. It's never just Meek Mill by himself. So. That's why I said, but I'm not saying that Meek can't sell more hard tickets than Wale because I feel like he probably could. Because cause Meek appeals to a lot of street niggas. He does. And Wale don't. So, so it's an audience that Meek got that Wale don't got. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of Wale artists got hills. I get it. He appealed yeah. more to the females. <laughs> yeah, I thought about that too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He appealed more to the females, but I just say quality is... me. Wale just got quality more music. To me, I get why someone's going to listen to Meat Mill more because you're going to listen to Meat Mill more when you're in the gym, when you're out riding your wheel. You're right. not going to listen to Wale for that. I'm not going to listen to Wale for that either. Yeah. But when I'm trying to catch a vibe, if I got a dope chick in my wheel, I'm going to throw on Wale. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you know he I'm definitely saying? got the lowest fire bombs, the things for the chicks. chicks. Meek does as well, but his is more, like but you said, he got late. more. His came because of Nicki. He didn't have those kind of songs before Nicki. Think about it. After the second album, yeah, you're right. Because after, what was it, Dreams Worth More Than Money? Yeah. Yeah, that's when he really started getting his chick back. I mean, he did the shit with P&B Rock, and then he did the shit with LMA. Yeah, that but was. But that was doing right during the time, time Nicki Minaj, Nicki, and yeah. after Nicki Minaj, then he kept doing it. Kept going. It. But you know most I mean? of the but, stuff he had was street bangers and yeah, yeah. shit that we love him for. You know, dirty, dirty braid meat, what we love him for. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But speaking of which, let's change gears here because let's talk about the mixtape game. Mm. You know what I mean? And, love that and, era. Love it. Bruh, that's one of my <laughs> favorite eras. That piff. Oh, you know what I mean? Mixunit.com. You know what I mean? Like You're taking it back. I love that piff. I, I was mad when they shut it down. I was mad because when you look at that piff and you see the top people, they, they put a diamond next to your face. face. And, next to, and Meek was up there. Meek yeah, he was definitely up there. was up there. Fabulous yeah. was up there. Jeezy was up there. Gucci Man was up there. It was a lot of niggas that had diamonds. But for me, I hate when they act like Meek ain't that bull when it comes to the mixtapes. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, he's a top five mixtape artist of all time, but a lot of people don't want to give him the credit. That we're going to debate on, but this is my thing. I'm going to be... Yo, I ain't going to hold you. I'm a Philly dude, and I probably listen to more Meek music than all the people we're going to see on this list, right? Okay. But it's certain dudes, bro, early 2000s. Go okay. ahead. You go with your no, list. No, yeah, no, no. No, I want you to tell me why you saying Meek ain't a top five mixtape artist of all time. Because, which, all right. Well, this is the thing. It's going to go into the list. So you want me to go into the list? Go into your list. All right. So you said, all right, so we got 50. Mm -hmm. I can't put him over 50. No, no. I'm, I'm not putting him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, no, right. 50 number two. All right. Well, I, I didn't put mine in order. I just put mine just five. Because I don't want to make an order because that's no, going to be no, a long-ass conversation. No, order. Just, just tell me your five and then I'm going to do my five. All right. So 50. Okay. Wayne. Absolutely. Would you put Meek over Wayne? Hell no. All right. <laughs> Hell so we, no. We two for two, y'all. You okay. know what I'm saying? Right. All right. So, three. Fab. Absolutely. The, Do I so, got... You will put Meek over Fab? No, I got Fab three. All right. So, Meek four, <laughs> three though. for three right now. But Meek four. Four. Yeah. I had to switch him out. You did? To who? D-Block and the Locks, dog. You can't say they didn't have no, a they stranglehold did, on the fucking mixtape game, dog. They did, but no. I got Meek over them when it comes to that. Because Meek's mixtapes is just... Bro, you, I... You listen. know why you're saying that? And I'm, I'm, I am don't want to cut you off. You know why you're saying that? Because <laughs> Meek came in the era, right, where your mixtapes sounded like albums. Absolutely. But we talking about when it was just dumb niggas just rap. Bro, you saw the verses. Most of the joints that the locks did was all mixtape shit, and they had the crowd rolling because everybody knew that shit, bro. 
You can't tell and me. Meek can they do come the same a- thing in the verses. I don't even know why Meek never did a verses. I think he was supposed to. <laughs> but he I, still never did he it. He never did it, but... But who? There's a lot of shit. This boy, like I love Meek, bro. But there's a lot of balls he dropped in his career. Yeah, he had a couple fumbles, but <laughs> it, my thing is though, that's a whole other concept. But what you call it? <laughs> but but I'm saying though, the impact that the locks had on a mixtape game, bro. I get it, but I can't put them over Meek, man. It, it just, I think you know what it is. I Meek think it's just, just two different eras, bro. Because. Like I said, from probably it what? It don't matter what era. I'm talking ever. I got Meek number four, and number <sighs> five is Gucci Mane and Jeezy. And I got them tied because I'm not a big Gucci Mane fan, but Me I neither. understand what he did for the mixtape game. I'm he, not I'm not oblivious to it. Yeah. I get it. I understand how Atlanta appreciate him. I give I him get his it. respect, yeah. So I put them all t- tied up at five. So this is my list. So I got... I'm going to show you what... Let me tell the audience what my list. So number five is Jeezy and Gucci Mane, respectfully. Yeah. Number four is Meek. Number three is Fabulous. Number two is 50. And number one is Wheezy. Mm. Wheezy is number one. The dedications alone. Oh, yeah, definitely. And we not even got to... We don't even got to talk about the droughts. The droughts, the prefix, no all the early stuff, too. You know what I mean? Hot, like, we too. don't got to talk about that. And, that. and this is why I said that he could have killed the Super Bowl. Because if he start doing that mixtape Wheezy, it's over. Oh, yeah. And in the midst of doing that, you bringing out Nicki and motherfucking Drizzy? Mm. Come on, man. I'm not knocking Kendrick. Because Kendrick got some mixtapes, too. But he can't bring out not the counterparts the, not the, no. because he don't collab with people. No, he don't. All he going to bring out is Baby King, Scoreboard Q. Q, couple TD guys, and that's and pretty SZA, much it. And SZA, and it's a rat. Yeah. After that. <laughs> but Lil Wayne going to bring out Fat Joe. Oh yeah, make it rain. like this nigga got shit for days. His feature game crazy, it's crazy. Then he yeah. could bring out Chris Brown with Lori and Tiger. Ooh, and he could do Bedrock and bring out the whole Young Money. You, Fucking that yo, nigga Kendrick right can't now. do that shit. He can't do it. You spitting right now? And this is what I was trying to explain to people, but that's for later. Yeah, I'm gonna say that for later. But that's my five. I, I think Meek he underperforms because he doesn't know how great. His mixtape catalog is. And no, he should have been to the mixtape tour a long time ago. I, I can't say that because I went to, um, it was a party called Made in Philly. This was 20. Was this the Made in America shit? Mm-mm. It was no? a, it's um, Dion Waiters. He throws a birthday party. He okay, was doing yeah. it every year. That, that's his man. Yeah. Well, so, actually his cousin, if I'm not mistaken. I think something like that. But they yeah, he, he, had a, right. he had a party downtown. Everybody was suited up, booted up. Mm-hmm. Um, this is f- around the same time he was messing with Milano at the time. Okay. So he just started running through all the Meek mixtape shit. He know. I just don't think, I, I don't know if it's maybe because he not getting paid off the mixtapes. Like He used to when that piff was. Right. But being it's not streaming. Right. It don't really benefit him to do those besides doing the album stuff that he's going to get paid for. Because you already know the stream's going to go crazy if he does do, do it. But mm-hmm. I just don't think he, being that he don't make money off the records, that's probably why too. That's part of the reason, but I'll do it one step further. If he gets the right people behind this tour, yeah, and he does a festival and ends mm. the tour in Philly and do three dates, and those three dates is a Meat Mill Dream Chaser Festival with merch, this nigga going to make millions of dollars. I'm trying. I'm not trying to teach these niggas how to move, but some shit is just self-explanatory. It's like, bro, and you he got with, uh, Gilly. Michael Rib- Rubin, Gilly so, is yeah. Gilly has a fest, and he hasn't rapped in twenty something years. How the fuck do Gilly get a fest before you? No disrespect to Gilly in a podcast, man, dog, because it's popping and it's doing its thing. Right. Shout out to Wallow with the new book, but it's no way that he gets a festival before you. You're Meek. That's true. J Cole, Dreamville, Drake, OVO. You yeah. even got Tyler Creator with a fuss. How the fuck did Tyler Creator get a festival before you? Team, like you said, I he think needs he needs a good team. But I don't. I and I was just thinking Meek, about it. I think Meek has a bad stain. It's something about Meek. As of late, he wants to be an individual. He's suffering from just it's me, it's my way, it's the highway. I don't want nobody coming into my circle. Mm. I'm rocking. That's how I see him when I look at him. I feel like because every the all he's been taking a lot of pictures he's taking lately is just him by himself standing next to a truck. 
I think it is, but you know the whole Diddy thing too. On top of that, <laughs> no Diddy. <laughs> yeah, that's it. yeah, no Diddy. But yo, the, the, that, crazy, bro. That shit, I think with him, uh huh, kind of made him kind of fall back. And you know, he got the boy Dean was talking. About, Dean was Dean. Yeah, talking Dean. About him. Right. So. Everybody to have was a close about circle, him. he arguing his man talk, arguing with the boy from the West Coast and all that. Yeah. It's like I, I I can't blame him. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, but bro, that that to me is a cop out because before the new Diddy, the no Diddy shit came, you still could have did it. You, I feel like no, just like Rick Ross said. Rick Ross said, I feel like Nicki Minaj brought Meek down to a certain extent. She brought him up. But she also brought him down. down because the, when that whole shit happened with Safari and then that shit he um, ran into her husband in LA, like all that, I, all that shit is too much shit about shit that ain't got nothing to do with music yeah. and ain't got nothing to do with money. Yeah. It's too much of that. And then you back to freestyle and you just I just I just I don't he's crashing out, man. It, it's Dang, just, you think he's crashing just out? A, look at his Twitter. He and then he don't even delete it. He just posted and was like fuck. Delete that shit up. <laughs> there you go, motherfucker. But I don't think At least it's- Nicki Minaj, the shit she said about Jay, soon as that she was tweeting it, it was getting deleted as people were seeing it. She was taking, but it's too late. They already screenshot it. Already screenshot it. And she once needs it's to up there, it's how, up there. She need to learn how to type. Her shit crazy. <laughs> and then she try to get on this hate on this Trinidadian talk. Guac guac blood like bitch. No, like no, bitch. You ain't that. Like I know you Trinidadian, but you you don't need to talk like them, bro. They don't respect her like that. And I know people from Trinidad. They don't respect Nikki like that. Like I, that's a whole nother conversation. But get off Nikki. <laughs> Right now, I want to talk about bro, bro, this Bugsy shit. got the AK for people today, man. I thought I was tripping on the last one. Man. But Just listen. Bugsy going off today. <laughs> I do want to touch on hate in the black community. Mm. Because not Michael, not what Michael Rubin interview did on the Brothers Up sparred this. But what sparred this is because every time I turn around and someone does something good, I always see a bad comment from a black person Hating mm. on a black person. Yeah. And so one of my colleagues, Serena, going to tell me, well, Bugs, you got to look at the bigger picture. It's because we've been traumatized. It's because a lot of people are on drugs. It's because a lot of people lost their dads to the crack era, to Reaganomics. All these excuses. I said, well, I was in, I was in the crack era. Right. You know what I mean? My family, a lot of people in my family did dope, but I was never a hater. I seen a Bentley salute. I right. see a nigga doing a podcast, salute. Right. I mean, it's to the point where niggas got podcasts, got better numbers than me, but they sending me shit in my DM like I'm fucking God Almighty. Oh, shit. You know what I mean? So how the <laughs> fuck you got more views than me, but you hating on me? Explain that. So, again, I must be doing something right because they say if you ain't got no haters, you ain't popping. No, that's facts. Okay? That's facts. But it's just I don't get the black community. I don't get it. And so when Michael Rubin said what he said on The Breakfast Club, a lot of blacks was like, no, you can't say that. In my opinion, I feel like he can say it, whether yeah. he's Jewish or not. Yeah. Because when Dr. Umar said it, did you listen? When Louis Farrakhan said it, did you listen? Yeah. When Michael Max told you, did you listen? When King told you in the 60s, did you listen? So now a white man tell you, now you're still on the defense. So motherfucker, you ain't going to learn. It's going to take a fucking alien to tell your ass some shit yeah. to stop the fucking hate. And I'm tired of these excuses. I'm in a no excuse zone. Yeah. Like a no goes gun zone. I'm no in a no excuse zone. zone. Right. Cause I don't hate on nobody. I want everybody to win. Same even here. other podcasters. I even saluted my man Scooter. He did his shit with his homie. I'm not one of them. Perfect. And if you just go past me, that was God's plan, just like Drizzy said. Yeah. But I know God on me, so I ain't worrying about. I always say the marathon continues. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because I'm on some Nipsey shit. Yeah, nigga, when, look, Nick, how long took Nipsey and his brother to make it? Right. So I'm on some Nipsey shit. So whenever God say it's my time, it's my time to shine. And that's it. That's fact. You're saying a lot, brother. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> he like, what the fuck am I saying? <laughs> <laughs> this is why this is my guy here. Um, <laughs> you right. And it's, it's, it's sad, it's, bro. It's... Michael Rubin's a billionaire. Right. And all he wants to all he wants to see is, you know, our community dudes in our community, you know, go up and get money. And if you see something that's wrong, regardless of race, right? Right. Regardless of race, regardless of gender, whatever, if you just see something wrong, aren't you as a person that's righteous, right? Yeah. You're just gonna speak on it. Right. He just said 
that he don't want, like to see black, black people, people hating, hating on him. other black people. So what is wrong with him saying that? It's just a human being. Fuck him being the Jewish. Fuck color. all that right. other shit. Humanity. Just, just being a human being to see a crabs in a barrel mentality that we all always talk about. Then this nigga always hating on this nigga. When the nigga get up, all oh, niggas want dragging it. Like being that he's saying it, and this is the thing I hate, right? Mm-hmm. That when we as black people sometimes, when we had the mirror pointed at us, we don't want to take the accountability. But it, it, when it's somebody oh else God, pointing the mirror word at is us, so major, bro. Accountability. When say it one more time, my brother. Accountability. accountability. It's like yo. Lord, then when word. somebody else shine a light on us, that's from the outside of our community. Yeah. Oh, you ain't got the right to say that, but. Come on now. Right. Who's going, who, like, want, who, who are you going to listen to? Because I just gave you clear examples of black men that called you out on your shit mm-hmm. and you just said, fuck them. Fuck them. Since the 60s. Fuck them. That's the, what you did. And like you said, they'll go right back to the victimhood mentality. And that's yep. another thing that we, we have and it, yep. it sucks. Like, yep. it's, it's a victimhood mentality where it's, oh, well, it's the crack air. Oh, it's this. It's excuses. And it's just like, we mm-hmm. are in twenty. 24. That's right. It is so many opportunities out here. You have these right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we didn't have we grew up in an era, bro. Right. You had to go to a library. Yep. You had to go to an encyclopedia. I was That's telling right. somebody this the other day. Yep. The information now, you type that shit in, yeah, it'll it pop up. Right up. Back in the day, you had to go through a almanac and all yep. this yep. shit. I mean, just to even get the down, information. I mean, take it a step further. Even down to the GPS, when you had the when somebody oh gave you directions, God. make a right on board in, in Susquehanna, make a left, turn up here, then you go up here and is, you'll see a Matt sign Quest there. Quest used to kill me, bro. I used to hate Matt Quest. <laughs> I used to fucking hate it. So, Hated that shit, bro. But it's 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 just a victimhood mentality. It's just, yep. Michael Rubin didn't say nothing wrong. It, it's, he definitely ain't say nothing wrong. It's just, I want to know who the person that told him not to, to apologize. That's the bullshit that I'm like. I, and I'm I like, want to know too. But in my heart to heart, I told you behind the scene, I think it's Jay. Because they, they're they business partners. They right. own fanatics. And speaking of which, they actually got a um, a, a, a blackjack tournament going at, going down this weekend in Ocean, Michael Rubin and Jay-Z. Oh, for real? Yeah. And, and it's quarter quarter of a million dollars is the prize. Mm. Yep. To, to, to launch their fanix, what they got going on. What they on. trying to do. Yep. Oh, okay. Because yep. they got like a... So now they're about to get into the sports betting. So they're about to launch the fanix app with sports betting and all that. Oh, so they getting into that bag. Okay. Yeah. That's yep. a heavy bag. But, mm-hmm. um, but yeah, he ain't say shit wrong. No. Nah. Nah. Fake outrage. That's what I call it for real, for real. But... <laughs> It is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> My nigga. Now to the final fucking topic. And when I when I seen the announcement, I seen the announcement on Black Twitter, obviously. And I said, damn, Kendrick Lamar headlining the Super Bowl. Believe it and believe it, bro. I said, damn, they is not going to let not like us die a natural death. It's, it's, They're not. Bro, it, <laughs> listen. <laughs> not. not like us. Listen, this is the longest rap song battle song ever in the history of hip hop. Yeah, damn sure for like five. And, and, but and this shit look, only dropped in May. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, but it's gonna go into 2025. Cause like I is. said behind the scenes, that song is gonna fuck up every college campus during the homecoming season. Yep. So you're gonna have all the bands playing it. Mm-hmm. They're gonna be doing that all the halftime shows. Mm-hmm. You're gonna have the Qs, mm-hmm. the Deltas, the Alphas, yep. the Kappas. Yep. Lincoln. Get used to that beat. Chaney. Get used to that. Da, da, Howard. Da, da. Shout out to my HBCUs, <laughs> man. Um, I'll am out of Lincoln. But it's about to be a new, not like us, bad crazy in, in the college world. It's it about is. to go crazy. Mm-hmm. And then it sets up the Super Bowl. Because once homecoming is over, then everybody go home and they little Thanksgiving break. Then they go home and they Christmas break. Mm-hmm. And then New Year come in. And then boom, Super Bowl. Right. And, and we... so then we're going to be playing this song until the Super Bowl, and he, I know he's going to drop a new song before that. Oh, yeah. Album definitely coming. The album's probably going to come out either the week before the Super Bowl mm-hmm. or after. That's my prediction. But That's the smartest thing. Yup. Yeah. And it's great marketing, and it's great. But the part that really sent everybody for a loop, let's get into the real reason. People mm-hmm. mad. It's in New Orleans. Holly Grove. NOLA. NOLA. And you already know who the king of NOLA is. It's Louisiana. Weezy. Louisiana. You know what I mean? And it's like, damn. When I first seen it, that his he, he popped up in my head. And I was like, well, damn, why they ain't put him on the bill? But then I kind of thought about the Drake shit. 
like, why the fuck would they put him on the bill? Weezy and Kendrick, that that don't mix. That drink don't mix. That's not going to go. But everybody's saying to me, they feel like he's still going to bring them out. Now, if he brings them out, it's over. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I'm like, all right, if he brings out Weezy, bro, it's fucking over, number one. Yeah. And Drake, is he's going to die. He's going to pass yeah. out. He's passing out. Yeah. His boss. His boss yeah. is bringing the ops. Like, what the fuck is? Yeah, he, he was just in the, the concert offer. what a couple months ago where he was like, "Not like us." Had the chain on, right? So, uh, I don't know, man. You know who takes? And this is another thing I seen that I kept seeing. You know who takes up for everybody more than anybody out of Young Money, Cash Money, Nicki Minaj? Because when Drake was getting 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 tested, everybody was quiet. Yep. Soon as this shit happened, Nikki goes off on Jay Z on Twitter. Ah, that was you. that was very left field, and, that, and when I seen that, I was nah. just like, to me right now, with <laughs> all this is going on, I feel like everybody that got their gripe towards Jay Z right now is gonna shoot their shot right now. Because think about it, mm-hmm. when did you hear anything about Nicki Minaj having issues with Jay? Never. You ain't heard in no interviews. No, nope. she ain't said no bars about him. No, nope. nothing. But now nope. she's just coming out of nowhere. It's crazy. That means it was already premeditated. That means she, to me, that means she already had a gripe with Jigga, but now this is my opportunity to let the world know I do. Right. So I'm just like, where did this all come from? I don't know. But let's take it a step further. Megan is signed to Rock Nation. Okay. Oh, boy. Bigfoot. So <laughs> yeah. that, that plays a part. That plays a part. Yeah, And, and a lot enemies, of things yeah. I've been seeing online is like, they try to say, like, Jay-Z made it happen closing that deal with the NFL. No, Colin Kaepernick made that happen when he took a knee. Because yeah, yeah. he ushered in him getting in that door with Roger Goodell. Before that, Black wasn't getting in that door. No. We wasn't. We was knocking. They was looking out the P.O. like, yeah, we see you, nigga. Right. But you wasn't getting that motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Okay, till you took that knee. Let's get it right. The outrage started, and then that's yep. when it was like, yeah, we need somebody to come in and yep. get y'all to start playing football again because, right. yeah, we, right. we, we can't stop the money flow out here. So, yep, yeah. yep. But everybody was like, well, he took a bag, too. Well, how are we supposed to survive? Y'all won't let him get on a team. So oh, he yeah. should get some bread from the NFL the way they did him. Yeah. And if he trying he to get a team on top of by, that, yeah. Right. This man got to eat. You know what I mean? Like, people be cracking me up with that, bro. People keep forgetting that this is a business. Like, you know what I'm right. saying? Like, forget all the culture stuff. Forget all the beefs, all that. Yep. It comes down to the bottom dollar. That's why yep. they brought him up in there, because when he started kneeling, everybody else started kneeling. Right. I remember at that time, I stopped watching NFL because of that, and then the Eagles yeah. won that, that year. That was crazy. <laughs> but, you know what I'm <laughs> So I had no force but to watch after right. that. Right, yeah. Because my team winning. But other than that, it's basically the money rules everything. So at the end of the day, if you're gonna get a check from the NFL that makes billions a right. year, mm-hmm. why are you not gonna take it? You gonna right. get mad at that? No. So yeah. And the person in Colin Kaepernick, he could have got back in the league. What he do? He fucked up his own shit. So yeah. At the end of the day. So what's your thoughts? Because a lot of people felt like Juve felt that. Well, he didn't really say Jay Z per se. He said that he NFL. said Roger Goodell. Yeah. So but. do you think that people in that committee? Are hating on Little Wayne because they even said the final say so is people in that city. Yeah, I heard that too. And I'm just like, really? Nola don't want to see Wheezy? Like, that's, I don't believe that. I don't believe that either. I don't believe that. I don't believe but that. But what's your thoughts? Do you think Jay Z is low key hating? It was, remember, I posted the bars that Drake said. Drake actually turned out a Super Bowl a few times. Oh, he did? Before now. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. So he that. not really like, whatever, motherfucker. I it is what it is. But no, what um, you think? So, we was talking about this. Yeah. I was like, I got to put on two hats when it comes to this shit. So, the rap part of me, the mm. rap artist part of me is saying, niggas, is, it could be the beef. It yeah. could be the little underlying things that's going on right. with Wayne and Drake, Drake and all and Kendrick, that. Kendrick, right. But the business side of me is just like, bro, Kendrick is the hot ticket right now. He is. He is. They saw I what he lie. did. With Amazon, they right. probably see the Amazon numbers. Now, right. mind you, that was a drone. You had to log in mm-hmm. to see on Amazon Prime to watch right. it. Right. They probably looking at it like this. If Kendrick could bring all them people out and bring Bruds and Crips and all that other stuff, yeah. imagine what he could do into a whole nationwide audience. Right. Bring in sponsorships, bring in 
all of these people. He got an album coming out. He's backed by Universal. Mm-hmm. Let's not forget that. Yeah, let's not forget that. These companies Shout out to Larry be, Jackson. These companies be in, in bed together. Mm-hmm. So I just feel like he the hot ticket. It's going to bleed in the next year, like you said. All yep. the the they bleed. they see the money, the momentum. In. Yeah, the momentum. So why I not get cash the business in side? I get the business side. I get the business side. Now, what I would say, if it would have been any other artist, like if it would have been like, let me see, who could, who could I who could I use an R and B artist? It ain't but, too many. They already got Rihanna. They already got Usher last year. Yeah, they got the Dre's and the yeah. Snoops and all that. That one year. Who else can they really get that's bubbling right now? Yeah, Kendrick the only one. Sad to say, but he's he's the yeah, only one. I don't one. know who they can get. But what I what I what my point was is that if it was another artist, I feel like it would be different because that artist can bring out Wayne. Like Wayne who? could. That's what I'm saying. I I can't off the top. I can't. I don't know. What I'm saying is Kendrick ain't bringing out Wayne. He not with, the, uh, you know, with everything with, with going, going on, on, Wayne not going to do that. Right. That's my point. So if it was someone else, Wayne could actually come out. You see what I'm saying? I I, I get what you're saying, but who? That's, that's, I don't know who. That's the problem. I I, and I had to think about that head. on my way here. I'm I like... Don't, I don't know. Yeah, they could have got but Wayne. Some but some people feel like Wayne's catalog is not Super Bowl worthy. How not? That, a mil... Come on, man. This dude know. had a number one song for how long? Bro, he got. I don't know how they the don't see it. The dude been out since Hot Boy days. He could do. Right, he could on, do man. any bling bling. He could do so much shit. It's just he got so many mainstream songs that he could do features. Go all DJ. Of that. He could start off with Go DJ, and they talking about they don't have he don't have family friendly songs. Yes, he do. Go DJ is one of them. They tripping, but <laughs> they tripping, dog. I don't know what the fuck they talking about. He got Wayne catalog is probably so crazy that we even he'll probably if he was to do it, he probably had songs that we'd be like, damn, I forgot he did that shit. Like damn, the I song forgot. with Robin Fit, Shooter, Dad John, Bruh. Mrs. Officer. Come on, the, the shit when he playing a guitar like this nigga different. He like, really got, got it. John's like, like it's it's. I don't know uh, who the I don't know who said that shit, but. <laughs> Wayne is like, bro, the nigga had a run since he was a 14-year-old kid, since a teenager. And y'all telling this man don't got a, the worthy Super Bowl songs? You got to think about look, the songs he not going to put in there. Shit. Not only that, but I said this. I said to me personally, not like us. I, I don't, if he does that, it's going to be over, bro. And You think they're going to let him do that? I don't know. But if he does it, it's over. What I'm saying is to me personally, besides all right, and besides the song he got with Rihanna, I don't know how I don't know a lot of songs that in my book that Kendrick songs is worthy of the Super Bowl. Not like us is, but I feel like if you do it, it's gonna fuck the game up. It is. It's it gonna is. fuck the game up, bro. If you do it, because yeah, you gotta remember it is a family friendly show. Yeah, so and I don't can't think really do the audience, stuff that he the did. The audience yeah. gonna know not like us, but they're not. They're gonna know those other songs to a certain extent, but they gonna know not like, like us. us, right? So you know what I mean. It's, it's not too many because that's another thing you got to think about. Kendrick don't really have too many of those type of bops where it's like, right? It's more conscious, it's more yeah. rapidy rap type yep. stuff. I mean, he could do the swimming pools, maybe. He could um, do the, the Lion King soundtrack. He, oh, that yeah, song yeah, got yeah. With they got a, I think they got a Grammy or a nomination. Of, he could do that. But, yeah. and that song, I love that song. But it's just like certain shit. It's like, now if he do the TDE shit, he can bring out Scissor. Yeah. You know what I mean? He can bring out Scoreboard Q. But to me, that's like West Coast out. I don't think you got it. You can't, to me, in you know, New Orleans, they don't, I'm not saying they don't like West Coast art, but you can't go West Coast all out on no New Orleans. Uh, no. It ain't you going. can't, but they, you also understand too, majority of the crowd, I don't know this They're as far as. They're Right. I They're not I from New Orleans. Right. So whoever's playing, now if the Saints is playing, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're going to have majority. They ain't playing. And neither is the Eagles. So I'm still going to tune into it. Oh yeah. And if my team is in the Super Bowl, it's automatic. You know what I mean? So yeah. who your team? 49ers, oh, bro. Yeah, hey, yeah. NFC defending champs, bro. Oh, man. Spanked y'all twice last Brock, last, Brock, last. Brock Purdy. That's but, right. <sighs> That's right, bro. The boy Wonder. You seen what he did to the Jets, nigga? Oh, man. 36 to 19. Fuck you know what? I ain't too mad on the 49ers. If he was a Cowboys fan, I had to walk out. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> but that's one thing. I knew you was going to say that. 
Hey, y'all niggas uh, hate the Cowboys, bro. God damn. I don't think Dak should have got that money, though. 240 mil I for four years. Mm-mm. Yo, I think he low key knocking off one of the Joneses' uh, family members or some shit. Cause goddamn, for a nigga that Jerry dope, Jones, that barely make Jerry it to the Jones, Super Bowl every year, he stay in a is crazy a good ass contract. But sometimes I think he be losing his shit because he's old. It's like biting. He That's why I bite and move to the side. I think Jerry Jones seen the move to the side and let his sons kick in because this his, he be on some shit. Cause I'm just like, bro, 31 years old, right. Four years right. for two hundred forty million, you barely make it past the second round. How, please, how does that add up? Can you, can you do the math? I, I, I don't. It ain't mathing. I ain't hey, and get your check, my nigga. Right, but yeah. other than that, like, yeah, I ain't math. I ain't math. I ain't mathing, bro. But man, you already know what this is. This your boy DJ Bugsy. It's your boy JK, man. Play away TV, man. Tune in on my YouTube. You already know. You already know, man. Keep it hip hop, peace.